Hi everyone, so today I'm going to share with you my Sephora haul. Ooh, I'm so excited. I honestly am in love with this right now. So the first off that I'm going to show is my mascara that I got, and I got the Better Than Sex by Too Faced one. But other than that, it is a good mascara. I don't have any problems with it clumping, and I mean, you're probably going to get clumping with any kind of mascara or anything that you're going to use. There's always going to be something like your eyelashes just don't follow the correct way or they just get kegged up somehow, but it's going to happen because it just makes my eyelashes look long and skinny. And maybe I'm just applying one coat and I probably should be doing more coats and I'll test it out and see if that helps. But as far as I know, it just makes mine look long and skinny. It does make them, like I said, make them look long which is good but the skinny part I'm not all about and then my next thing that I got and I will show you all this is a little bit of a splurge you'll see in a second as soon as I get them all organized <laughs> in a row okay ready all for this I got all of the chocolate bars including the peach palette one which I'm a little nervous to try because my skin is pretty pale and the colors are beautiful but they are more of an orange and a yellow tone to them and I feel like that might make me look a little washed out but I am hoping with the end of summer that I will look a little bit more tanner and then maybe this will look a lot better but we'll see and now going on to the chocolate bars these are honestly my favorite right now, and I will show you. The colors are amazing. I feel like you get a lot, ooh, you can see my camera, and probably the dirty floor behind it. <laughs> um, I like how it comes with a nice mirror, and also it comes with a little guide on how to do your eyes and little tips, which I like. Uh, the only thing that I wish is that they would come with a brush, but that's okay. I don't have a whole lot of brushes and that's the next thing that I need to get are more brushes. I have a ton of eye palettes, just not enough brushes. And I've been using my Urban Decay brushes from those palettes with these ones, which it's okay. They work, so I won't complain. But I have already tried the Chocolate Bar, which I am in love with, and also Chocolate Bon Bon. I do like the pinks and purple tones along with the, the browns. I also like, you know, the warmer tones and stuff. I'm not really a fan of blues, greens, reds, and oranges, even though, yes, I did purchase this one. I wanted to try it, and I think the candid peach is actually really pretty. It's got more of like, a, I think, a kind of pink tone to it, so we'll, we'll see how well that one will looks on me. And then the next thing that I got from Sephora was the Kat Von D, if I can get this right, the Kat Von D contouring palette. And you can see that they do come in different shades of contouring and I'm excited to use this. I've been wanting to contour, I just wasn't sure how to go about with it. I've seen some videos and I'm going to try this one first. And then the last thing that I got, which <laughs> is not quite makeup style, but it is perfume because every girl loves to smell good. I am in love with the smell and I love La Vie Espelle. That French saying is my favorite. It is means life is beautiful. And when I found out that there was a perfume by this brand, or excuse me, a perfume with this name, I was like, I have to get it. So I have it and I'm probably going to do a little uh, perfume video later on just to kind of talk about the perfumes that I have and that I like to use because what girl does not like to smell good? So anyways, going on, I do recommend the chocolate bars. They are beautiful colors, true to their colors. Um, if you're kind of like a newbie like I am with makeup, you I will recommend getting an eyeshadow primer because that makes the eyeshadow last longer on your eyes and it also makes the color stand out a little bit more. And I have put it on before work, and then I apply my matte, my eyeshadow, and then when I get home from work, my eyes look like they haven't even been touched, which is really nice. So I do recommend getting in one of those. I need to invest in one. I am using my, um, I'm having a brain fart, 
my Urban Decay ones that came in the good little sample pack when you buy their palettes and so I'm using mine up and I need to actually invest in getting a bottle of it but I do recommend getting those because I think it makes your eyeshadows look amazing and stay in place all day long. So this is my little Sephora haul that I got <laughs> but it is amazing. I love it. So yeah, that completes it. I hope you all have a nice day and I'll talk to you later. Bye!